Frontier. Welcome along to Rangers Daft, it's your weekly look from Football Daft at all the goings on at Ibrox now every week. Um, we, we get a guest pundit on, but before we do that, let's introduce the Francis Jeffers and Stephen Gibash of the Rangers Striking World and Podcast World. It is Grado and Stephen Purden. What one you want, Grado? Givash, you want a World Cup, did you know? Uh, I'll go Givash in, man. Givash, <laughs> did he not score like four goals in one game in the World Cup? In the semi final or something like that? I don't remember, Matt. It sounds, it sounds plausible because it, it sounds like something mm-hmm. we, would, we would see that and go, right, let's buy that clean. I know. No. Yeah, he was shite, wasn't he? He ended up in Newcastle for a bit as well. It was terrible. He has Grado tighten up. He's looking up, man. No, I'm not. Ah, he is. Ah, he is. <laughs> However, during the World Cup, he never scored a single goal. Alright, I'm talking shite. Oh, I'm thinking of fucking Oleg Selenko. Uh, he was good, uh, Selenko was good. Ukraine was it the Ukraine. He scored, did Selenko, Selenko scored four goals in the World Cup game. Go and Google that, Grado. Tell me I'm right. I'm, why did I think he bash? Oh, I think that's just true, mate. Live podcast. Oh, it's Russia. It wasn't Ukraine. He scored, he had eight appearances and scored 86 goals in the European... Uh, no! He scored five goals in a match in the USA in 1994 for Russia. And that's when we signed him, man. (laughs) Well, there you go. Lots of well-researched facts there for you on Rangers Daft. Uh, Let's welcome our guest pundit this evening. Uh, It is Alex. How you doing, Alex? Not too bad. How are you? Very well, thank you. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Thank you for being our guest pundit. Really appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, Alex, we asked this. We usually ask. Right, I'm going to mix it up because we usually ask what your favourite range. Helicopter is. Sunday. Everybody says helicopter Sunday or the UEFA Cup final. Um, first of all, let's find out your favourite Rangers player. Favourite Rangers player has got to be Barry Ferguson. Barry Ferguson, um, popular choice. Popular choice. The very popular. It all depends on the age, doesn't it? Aye, Some, aye. So, um, Barry, and right. So I'm going to ask you this question. Right, we ask you, what's your favourite Rangers moment? We've done that to death. What's your favourite Rangers strip? Oh, favourite Ranger strip. I'm gonna to have to go for Stocky Rock. See the Stocky Rock Rangers top. The Stocky Rock with the red and white. Red and white stripe. Red and white one. Aye, that was a belt for me. That's probably one of my first ones. That was my favourite one. I'd say. I Aye, don't see. Like... When you see when you see. Wait, the hold red... on. Just confirm what one that says because what I thought might not be the right. So the Stocky. Which red was... and white. See the red and white white stripes done. Just done the way, mate. The red white was the gear. Just done. <laughs> Is it? But a stalker um, goes. Um, like, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was Umbro. It's when Smith came back, wasn't it? It was Walter uh, Smith saying stint. Ah, uh, right. Do you uh, know what I, actually, it's a strip. You know, Stephen, you're writing it. You're buying your retro tops and all that. It's a strip. I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen a video. No, it's hard. I don't really see it kicking about, mate. No, no, it's a hard yeah. one to get. I think. Did yeah. we maybe wear it in, uh, oh, away in somewhere. Europe? Healy played in June. Wait, wait, we wore game. it against Sport in Lisbon, did we not? Aye, that's what I meant, aye, that's it. And Whitaker scored, in, uh, no, oh. no, what would you call him scored? Uh, Stephen Davis swung it in, and Duff scored a header. That's right, I'm looking at aye. it right now, no aye. shots. Aye, it's nice, man. Well, that is nice, isn't it, with the tennis? Aye. Oh, well, there you go, you can look out for that one. Grado, listen, before we crack on, um, you were off football daft last week because you were recording two doors down. We've, we talked and went through the old firm, but I just want to get your thoughts on last week because we didn't get them on football, Daft. What did you make of it? Horrible. It was brutal. Um, I think we all kind of were feeling after the result with Ross County on a Saturday, I think this could, uh, this could go tits up. And right for the get-go, Celtic just looked far made up for it. We looked spooked, we looked fear, we sat back. Their tempo, their intensity, everything about them, they just looked right up for it. The crowd have slagged the disco lights for years, but even them as well, I'm thinking, I think the players were just, they, they, they've, they've shot it, they've shot it last week. Um, no taking away from how well Celtic played, but we just never get gone. It was horrible, horrible to watch. Um, Lucky it wasn't any more, and a lot of talk about in the second half we played a better team and we, we, we played well. That doesn't matter, man. The game was, was by. They didn't need to come out of second gear in the second half. It didn't matter. Mm. So 
Aye, it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good night, and it wasn't a good night up until three, four o'clock on Sunday. It wasn't a good feeling at all. No. Yeah. Yeah. Then do you have the do you have the boys round to watch it? Yours, Gareth then. Great. Yes, and they, I had them in the White House. Had them in the White House in here, and it lasted four minutes, and they wanted to burn the fucking thing down. <laughs> well, uh, this is jinx, so they'll not be back around here for the fact. Did, did you watch soon. the film? Did you watch? Did you watch film match then, or did you switch off at one point? Uh, I watched everything, man. Did you? Watched everything in it. Aye. No, it's just horrible. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Well, let's move on to brighter things and look back at the weekend game. 5 0 um, coming out against Hearts. Um, four big, ch- four changes made to the side. Let's get into those changes with the right players taken away, the right players put in. Yep. Well, I thought. Even though he had an absolute blistering game and he looked back to his best, I thought Kemp was lucky to make a starting lineup. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, but Barisic obviously was one that got copped it a lot from the, the midweek game against Celtic. Right, right, so. Surprisingly, Lundstrom came pretty much out of the cold and, and into the side as well. And he was fucking brilliant. I we definitely owe it our words on Sunday with regards to Lundstrom. And see, you know, I was actually thinking about it today just before we come on, right? See, when you think about it, that kind of shows Gio, he, he, that, was a, that was a risk playing him. Because mm. Gio, he, cause he's not stupid because he, he knows that Lundstrom has got a lot of flat the last couple of months. They brought in Sands, it's said to be that he was maybe going to be his replacement. And I'm thinking, he, he, he must have known that was a risk. So fair play to Gio for playing him and, 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 and having the confidence that he would have, a, have the game that he did because I thought it was the best game in a Rangers shirt. Aye, aye. Was it was him and Jack just complimented each other so well, and exactly, it, man. it allowed Arfield just to press everybody, make their runs for deep, and Ryan Jack and all, man. Just shows you what a big miss he's been, man. Uh, it was interesting to see Arfield in that role, obviously coming into the side, and he, he was leading the press, and it, it seemed to work because we all know that Mare- that's not Morelos's game, that side of things. So Arfield's obviously full of energy and kind of led that press. Um, which is which is interesting to see considering how far off you sat from Celtic the previous week it was like Arfield was brought in to do that and just bring the team forward definitely man uh, it was watching that a wee bit I just kept thinking like you're saying there John like I'm going how did we know press that us against Celtic how did we know because it's like it's all looking in hindsight but when you look that's our game man like I was saying it on Football after a day, like we just were well, sitting ducks at Parky. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, th- I think a word that I, you know, maybe you give us your thoughts on the, the performance, Alex. But certainly, the words that you, you look round Rangers in that performance against Hearts is relentless, is a big, big word there. And there was a lot of it attack and intent, which you probably didn't see against Celtic. What do you make of it, Alex? I generally thought, see, the last team I wanted to play after Celtic was Hearts. I thought, well, as soon as I seen that lineup, I know I was going, oh my God, I said, this is going to be a disaster. I just had this bad feeling. But then, see the way we were playing, see the attacking play, the absolute fit on the throat, didn't hang up. At 1-0, I thought, this is a dodgy game. And then, mm-hmm. see when we got the next second, third and fourth, I thought, that's the kind of Rangers, see the Rangers team that we used to have, cut throat, gone for it. Attacking play, players running through, that weren't they? normally were sitting back, kind of holding on to the ball stuff like that try to ride it a 1-0 but see after that second goal it was just cut throat going for it players running through you had Kamara for his goal easily so I definitely cut throat was definitely a difference yesterday you're right but it was sticky at 1-0 you had that kind of feeling that we better no mm. regret no taking these chances in the first half just was because... it, because it was especially I think it was after half time it was like a 10 15 minute period after the second half where it was getting a bit feisty and you think yeah. can Rangers you know live up to this task because Hearts were putting it about Rangers were also putting it about and you're thinking Hearts that you can't I did a couple of chances that's what I liked as well though see when Hearts were putting that about that's what I liked about our midfield just today especially see Lundstrom and Jack they can play a bit as well, but see, somebody wants to start roughing it up a wee bit, they're not scared to get back, do you know what I mean? And that's Aye. what we looked, for the past few weeks, especially when we've been away from home, like the Pataudry, Ross County, Selic Park, we've looked a bit soft, man, a bit powder puff, do you know what I mean? But yesterday, 
It was like Jack and Lundstrom are especially up for it. So is Arfield. He's always getting up for it. Do you know what I mean? But and there was a bit in the match where I'm trying to remember where Lundstrom. I don't know if he loses the ball, but he, he makes about three challenges in the space of four aye. or five seconds. And you're like, where has this been? Where has this been? Yeah, exactly. Aye. No, no fear in Sunday to put a tackle in. Mm. But the game nearly went. <sighs> that wee spell at the second half, man. See that one where the boys went to the back stick and Bassy sleeping. And the boys hot it, and it's right across the goal, man. See, fact, it's a diff- it's a different game, man, because it was getting to the point. It was get it was turning into a game. Hearts wanted it to be. Yeah. Like, it, it off, do you know what I mean? But like Alex was saying, man, man, we're at second goal. What Just, was what, what was the atmosphere like in the stadium, um, Stephen? Was what I did, was it like? Like, did I was it like, you man. I didn't go, mate. Oh, man, did I, you, oh, did you I, make I, it all oh, fucked, man? All oh, right, right, Alex. Did you? Were you? Are you a, a season ticket holder? Do you know what? I've, I had the chance to get a season ticket at the start of the season, but it was in my junk mail and I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just brought back that that. Sorry, bit. Alex. Sorry, it pal. Was in my wow, man. Wow. Sorry, pal. So I mean, it'd be interesting to see if, if anyone could let us know. I'd be interested to hear because on the telly it's saying there was a wee bit of starting that murmuring starting. You know, when you hear it, I brought. It would have been man. Well, no, it would have been up until we got that second goal. It would have been. People start to go oh, like Bassy's back at Bassy sometimes. We bit a bone scare sometimes, man. For the ball, man. Some boy played through to Kent. Oh, it's tremendous. Ball, a ball, but he's still that moment with the heater, man. What was he doing, man? Like, why is he thinking? I've watched it back three times now. Like, why does he. The way the ball comes, why does he think he done it back? So, like, hang it there, there? Like, I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> I put that my football game yesterday when it was on, but soon I watched the highlights and I seen that heater. I genuinely thought. That they were going to score, even though I knew the man, the game. Aye. Was out. Aye. I Aye. seen that, and I went, "How in God's earth <laughs> did he miss that? And how in God's earth has he done that?" It's <laughs> sickening. <laughs> sickening. <laughs> um, I mean, talking to let's talk through the goals. Then great move for the first one. Um, oh. Well, we've no we've no touched on it, but that was what Morello yesterday as well. Morello, uh, that, mate, this is what I was saying the other day. We we can't play. See without Morelos, the team just like he's even if he's going through a wee sticky spell, right? He's such a focal point to that team. When he's not there, we just we're not the same team without him, man. It's unbelievable how much a difference him and Ryan Jack has made, but especially like Morelos with the way we play him up front. Yesterday was like the days when we played Feyenoord and Porto. That was Morelos like two or three years ago yesterday. It was tremendous yesterday, <clears throat> yeah. and I just think I'm just wondering if he was just frustrated about missing the games. Been only in Colombia, was he even on the bench? Did he make the squads? Any of the games? He no. was there. there. Yeah. I reckon mean, yeah. he's come back here yesterday, pent up frustration. Yeah. Oh. Because he, he meant business right for the right for the first 20, 30 seconds. Mm. Oh, right, right from the off game. Right from the off. Right, right from the off. Simmel yeah. just did not know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I've seen, I've heard a few people saying, actually saying that it was one of Morelos' best performances in a Rangers jersey. Do you agree? He's, he's yeah. old up play, everything, man. Like, everything he touched, he's intricate ball through to bloody. Oh. Done it to Arfield as well. We give and go, hold up play. The defenders must have been him last night, fucking shattered. Yeah. Um, great finish, great move and finish for the first one. Second one, great. That little oh. game obviously gets a bit of luck with the bounce coming back off the hearts player, but great finish and a great curling finish. And wow, big God, no stands for that. Um, Grain Kamara, what Jesus turned into Gaza. I um, don't know what he's doing, no passing there. I'm going, when I seen the highlights, I'm going, why is he surely swearing that? And then <laughs> I, I that. Was it Ramsey? Was it the side of the minute? Was it Ken? Aye, see, was it Ken? Ken? Elegance. <laughs> Elegance. Yeah, but great about. Why does he not do that more often? I, I guess. I guess it's just the position he's, he's usually looking up. He's got bloody Ken or Hadjit he passed, and he's going nice act that. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's been day man in the last few weeks as well. Kamara, he did he did deserve trap just the man, but when he came on, it was I. The it, the script went perfect. The players that were dropped, like Kamara, for example, coming on, getting a goal. Do you know what I mean? That's. It yeah. breeds confidence throughout the camp, John, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that Bla- Borna Barisic got dropped. It was honestly, and I hope it gives him a wake up goal. But 
honestly, I see him get dropped. God send. Well, I mean, let's let's talk about the fall of Borna Barisic from last season. We're sitting talking about. <laughs> It's. It, it, I mean, it's me on, on this podcast, we're talking about double figures. You know, you know, not selling. We, you know, after the Euros, his price is going to go up. What have you? But it's just this season. It's just that's it. There, John, what you, what you touched on. It's ever since the Euros. Yeah, it's like see leading up to that. Then he got the injury. See, since he's had that injury, it kept him at Mr. Euros. He's no, he's not been the same player. See, since fans have been back and all. Uh, I think he just can't cope under the. I don't think he looks fit. I think he looks like he can't move mm. at times. And then Bassi doesn't fill me with confidence all the time, but he's like, when he gets gone, man, at least he's at least he's a trial. Do you know what I mean? Is, ba- is Bassi playing. first choice left back now? I would say as I would say as with Balligan playing centre half because ba- Balligan played Bryant again. He was he, he was, was excellent on Sunday. <clears throat> Yeah. But I, for, I think, well, for what we've seen this season, Bassi's a better option for going, going, going forward as well. I think, although, if he, if he can wipe that, making these wee mistakes through his game. Mm-hmm. It was always bad. At least he put his horn up yesterday. Up I, respected him, I respected him putting his horn up yesterday and going, I've made a gun to that. Even though I can see Fab bobbing in the net, man. That would have mattered. <laughs> putting his horn up, man. I need <laughs> shit, Calvin. Fuck's sake. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. He's saying sorry. It's cool. But <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it to his face anyway. No, <laughs> oh, and if he's lost to this man, I'm getting a. We have a bump uh, in him. I've sent him a tweet. Call him a number. Sorry, but we'll say it to his face. A player you said at the start was lucky to gain that starting lineup uh, yesterday. Stephen was Ryan Kent. Three. Well, we'll get definitely two assists. Well, we'll give him the third one for our field's goal. Because it came, Arfield hit the shot, it came back and he put it in. Oh, right, it? Because, because I, think, I think you need to give him the third one because the ball it was through. such a fucking beautiful reverse. It was a very good ball through, it was a very good ball. Right, we'll give him the assist. So, three assists for Ryan Kent. I mean, the second, when he turns on the afterburners for Sakala's goal, like that, that just that burst the pace when he flew forward and crossed the oh, ball in. Yeah. Just, just great. Um, do you think he? Do you think he's just out to prove that he's a player after the criticism he's received? I, I just go like that, man. Like, see if I was like Gio or Roy McKay, I'm just I'd be going at him. See every game we play. See if there's a chance of one on one. Even if you lose it and the guy beat, takes it off you, just keep going. Cause he, see on his day. See if he he performs to the level he has performed that for us, and we all know he can. And you've got Morelos doing that as well. No many teams well, are going to be able to stop that. Well, it was interesting when Kent came off, the way Gio was with Kent, you could see he was saying something to him. Sort of along the lines of, see, that's it. Play like that. That's it. You've got it. That was the kind of way he was kind of cuddling him, going, that, I've told you, this is, you can do it. He's, he's phenomenal on his day, Ryan Kent. He's just, I don't know, man. The I'll frustration say- is, Bob, that a game like that comes... And then that could be him for another four or five games before he plays like that yeah, again. That's the frustration. Just didn't say, man. He's waiting for a seven million player to a seventy million player to a seventy <laughs> quid player, and then now he's back up about kind of three and a half million kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. Definitely. It's like I don't know. You just need to, as what you say there, man. Get those consistency. You want half him. You don't want one, one and five. Because if he does that every week, man. He's just, he's frightening when he gets gone. And he should have had a goal as well, along with the assist. See that move? And Morelos just gave him that. Oh, no. that. And the way he cut back on his right, he could have had a couple of goals yesterday. Oh, I'll that. Yeah, so hopefully that's Ryan Kent back to his best. Um, the, I mean, the other players that were kind of criticised off the back of the game against Celtic, Goldson, Tavernier, I've seen people go, you know, Tavernier's always up and down with the Rangers supporters. When they're doing well, it's, Captain Tav, when they're not doing well, people just turn on him, and it's like he's not a captain. He shouldn't be a Rangers captain, you know. And, um, that'll I'm sick of hearing that man. Honestly, see the guys at Ibrox that still shout stuff at him, like get it. He's a captain, and that's it. Like it doesn't even matter. Like, did you see that Tavernier never come out and done the the, the press? This is a disgrace. I know, I know, he should I know. be coming out. It is somebody that's going to be playing every single game, and Rangers really have they got somebody. Apart from McGregor, that plays every single game consistently. Him yeah. and Goldson are like the only two boys I uh, actually play 
consistently every single game. Speaking of McGregor, man, I'm I'm glad that but... easy, easy. He's looking old. <laughs> He's looking old. <laughs> that's that's sad, me. Steve, that's that's me sad. trying to give some. I would see if I'm at Rangers in the behind the scenes. I'm looking at goalies, man. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, I, I mean, because breaks my heart saying it, but I know. I mean, McGregor's forty now. You know, I know, I know. Forty. John McLaughlin. What age is John McLaughlin? He's no spring chicken either. He's about 34, 35 and all. Aye, you know. Aye. Yeah. So you, you, I mean, you're looking down the pecking order. <laughs> I guess McCrory's the next one down the pecking order. Then is he? He's done well against Celtic, man. Aye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Keeper's I mean, the hardest place to replace into these days, man. If you're that quality, you can play my quality team. Well, I never watched the full Celtic game, but they said Kelly had a great game, even though he... Yeah. yeah. And Seagrest, I know he's maybe... He's a Seagrest is a very good keeper. Uh, very, very good keeper. Anyway, that's for another... That's for another day. Um, mentality was obviously questioned last week after the Celtic game. Do you think the, the that 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 question's put to bed? And this is this is it going forward. The, that's a big answer from the Rangers players to against the questions about their mentality. Thirteen cup finals now, John. Thirteen cup. Finals. Thirteen cup finals. Thirteen cup finals. Do you think that display? I mean, Celtic obviously went to Fur Park. They had, they, had a, they played very well as well. Do you think they'll be looking at that and they'll be they'll they'll be now going right? Okay. We've got a we've got a title hunt on our hands now. Well, John. <coughs> Sorry, put me on. I'm coughing, man. Stop John. breathing. The Beatles things for you. Imagine that. Well, well stop John. <laughs> and yeah, does anybody get Stephanie's number? <laughs> I think he's in the White House. <laughs> Great to what we're saying. All we're saying is I fucking forget now. <laughs> so no, 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 about the mentality. But John, that was a big, that was a big task Sunday because, as you say, Celtic, mm-hmm. Celtic go out there, they play well again, score a number of goals. They've already, you know, they're, they've won their game. The Rangers players know that they're coming out to an Ibrox crowd that's no happy. They know that they're going to be on their backs if it's not looking good in the first five, ten minutes. So they dealt with the pressure yeah. because that would have been a, they, they they knew they had because three points was a must, but also no four off that was a good performance Aye. and still yeah. a bit of confidence yeah. in the team. So that was a big thing for them today. It was it was um it was. and like Alex said, it's not a team you would have picked to play after getting beat off Celtic like Hearts when I picked yeah. them, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they did what they need to do. Really, that's the, that's the performance that was required. You know, that was you know the big the big questions got answered by that performance. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I we've not touched on Aaron Ramsey. Came on off the bench again, lifted the crowd that last fifty minutes. Maybe could have had a go if Sakala hadn't just nipped in in front of him and then um, had that wee finish. He'll and then be... done the buff celebration. That Aye. was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You see that, John. I did, I did, I, 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 I didn't know what he was doing, but... If there was anybody that was going to do it, you would let him do it. He could do aye. whatever he wanted. Aye. I, I love the Sakala, he, he's got a big smile on his face. I love a player that plays with a big smile on his face. You know? Beautiful oh. little human being, man. I know. I, I know. Um, Aaron <laughs> Ramsey showing a couple of class touches that... Didn't need to do much. ...where he got the pass through. Didn't need to do much, John Biffy. He, he just looked like a touch of class. It looked as if it was a breeze for him. I mean, obviously he's come on. Would they come on four 0 five 0 However, he just you could tell, and you think to yourself, "Well, well this guy's, you know." Do, do you player. think he? Do you think he gets in against Hibs on Wednesday, or do you think they go with the, the side that beat Hearts? I'd, I'd keep him for Aaron, man. I'd keep him for Aaron. <laughs> Fuck it, imagine that. Just come from your bed, it's Aaron. Holy what shit! <laughs> Don't change that team. Ah, you don't change that team. Don't change that team. So that's the team that starts against Hibs yes. on Wednesday, yeah. 13 Cup Finals, yes. Cup finals. Team that's on form, and then we'll, we'll, we'll ease Aaron in. We'll ease right. him in. Against Aaron. Um, against Aaron, give him a wee, <laughs> a, wee bit of, a wee bit of Scottish football right there. No, I come Aaron from the sa- come Aaron. from playing in the likes of the San Siro to Aaron. I can't even wait to see his face when he's <laughs> in fucking hell. It is mental to think but that that's a player that's selling. How much does he earn a week? 
four hundred grand. <laughs> he's playing against, you know, I mean, Anna, but they he's get away. More than Anna, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I bet you when he's got to play against Anna or the UV boys are in a changing room, one will FaceTime Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, we'll see what happens uh, after the match Giovanni Van Bronker says we're very pleased it's a big win for us the way we won the attitude we showed I'm really happy it's a good reaction the key is to keep performing game in and game out as Stephen says it's 13 cup finals that's the key to the way we want to play we have to keep this energy and there's a good chance to win the league if we do we, we, we are a fickle bunch but man it's like <laughs> after Wednesday night and then you see him at the press conferences and the, the pre-match interviews, you're like, <sighs> he's boring me. <laughs> <laughs> like, <sighs> his interviews are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, yesterday in the group. I, 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 yesterday. This is, this is worrying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't yeah, I've given it, it to all my pals. Oh, Gio, Gio's the best thing to happen to us. I'm fucking glad Gerard's away. See, after Wednesday night, I was like, to my pals, listen, He's no man for me. He's no for me. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was the wrong choice. <laughs> after nice last, that last night, I'm sitting in bed with my girlfriend. I'm going, listen, he's the best thing that's ever happened to this club. The best <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, but it's, it's like, I, I was saying the boys, the, the boys that were in here uh, uh, last week at Wednesday, and I'm going, I mean, see when Gerard done his press conference on a Friday night, it was like, what... A, a weekly episode of Friends, you couldn't miss it. Aye. See, Gio, I don't even bother us! <laughs> it's like when Friends went to season six and they got shite. I don't even bother anymore. <laughs> Jump the it shark. Was, it was a pure thing, but with the Gerard press conference, you're just like that. Aye. You're sitting watching, but now it's like... Good. <sighs> Aye, good, you know, we... we it's uh, good. We, we have, we I have. I don't think I've watched any Gio's press conferences. I don't think I've actually watched maybe more than two. But I used to watch Gerard's. Well. I just I used to watch Gerard's when I was in bed. Aye, just, aye. Honestly, just put me in bed at night. Made me feel comfortable. <laughs> We're getting an insight into Alex's life here. Aren't we? <laughs> um, I was speaking to our good friend, Mister Ewan Cameron, today. I believe you two He's were. I believe you two are winding them up on uh, the group chat. Aye, aye. Yeah, I mean, remember when he was on a few weeks ago? Yes, and he lost still said Rangers, he, still, he still said Rangers are going to win the league. Yes. And then the days in the group chat, I mean, they were saying, your manager's a fraud. He's a fraud. Well, you'll be pleased to know I invited, I, I said to him, Ewan, would you like to come on to the podcast this week and uh, have your have words with Grado and Stephen? And he's readily accepted to come on for a wee chat with you boys oh, this can't week. Wait. Can't wait. Right. So, can't um, see. You'll be Here's able, Morgan, man. You'll be able Bye. to hear from Ewan on Football Daft this week. Um, right, let's go through for the full week, your Rangers Daft rated and your Rangers Daft day. So let's start off with the Rangers Daft rated, I'm guessing, Morelos. Morelos. Yeah. Aye, they just like they disagreement there. Full house for me there, Ross, just goes to show how important. Is he Rangers' best player? Yes. Apart from Aaron, apart from Aaron yeah. Ramsey, we'll take Aaron Ramsey out of the occasion because most we know important he's... player, I would say most important. Rangers' player. most important player, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. Definitely. Right, okay. Uh, right, Rangers, Dafty, who are you picking? Borna. Borna. Borna Barris, that's it. Yeah, Grado. I would say Borna as well. Poor Borna, you, I mean, you used to have that great wee song you sang about him and everything. Oh, he'll be my best pal next week if he starts playing well, but Aye. for the new he's not. I could see you sitting here next week, what a game Borna had. Uh, mate, I, I, I'm just sitting here thinking I'd love for somebody to find old episodes you was talking about, like, if you if you <laughs> couldn't lose a player, who would you know what to lose? Borna Barris, it's Borna. <laughs> and then like, Lundstrom's <laughs> done, Lundstrom's done. <laughs> And then even at the start of the season, Lundstrom's great. You know what I mean? Every week, we're like that. Now's the time to cash in Morelos. Aye. <laughs> it's every week, man, my lad. Fucking stupid, isn't it? So, uh, up next, Wednesday night game, boys, it is Hibs. Um, now, Hibs have got a, I mean, of all the teams, they've got a pretty decent record. Last 20 matches, uh, 10 wins uh, to Rangers, 5 to, to Hibs, the rest draws. They've got a relatively good record, but I tell you what, their form under Sean Maloney. Aye, it is, John, it's honking, right? But do you know what Hibs are turning into? They're turning into a new Aberdeen, right? Hibs. Right. What you said about the manager is a fraud. 
Fucking fraud. Hibs and Aberdeen are frauds, man. Like, see if they put in fucking 50, 60% amount of energy they put in again when they play us against mm-hmm. other teams, they'd be fucking higher up in the league. Wait till you see them in Wednesday. Wait till you see them when they come. Right? Unbeaten in 14 uh, league matches against Hibs, though. Uh, one nine, drawn five. Uh, nine of the last ten you've won against them. We need to start. We need to same same team. Start with the same. Big for start. Aye. Same, <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously they've lost Martin Boyle, who was a big part of the way they played. You know, just getting the ball in out over the top for him, balls down the side, and, and what have you for him. Is, is there anything you feel? I mean, I don't know if you've seen much of Hibs under Maloney, but is, is there any players or any any part of their game that you fear? I fear for the players' safety when Portis is playing. Aye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'd put my council tax on him injured someday tomorrow. Aye, definitely. As long as it's no Ryan Jack or Morelos. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Port- I think well, Port- Portis will play. I'm, I'm guessing Portis will play and it'll be complete panto villain. But I mean, at Ibrox, after that performance against Hearts, you've got to be confident of a win here, yeah? And it's on my birthday and all, so the better be <laughs> Oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday, mate. <laughs> and Wednesday. And Wednesday. Right? What date is that? The ninth. February <clears throat> ninth. Wait, did you got to be? Oh, a day older, a day, a year older than twenty-seven, but no thirty yet. You're twenty-eight. Right. Yeah, you've got the same birthday as Joe Pesci. Oh, you've got the same birthday as you had. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah that's weird, isn't it? There we go. Same. Who else, Grado? Carol King. Carol King. Yep. Was she in again? She was a, she a singer-songwriter. She was. She wrote a very famous album called Tapestry. It's a classic, it's a classic. Um, so I'm Steve, I'm surprised you've not you've heard of that album. You oh, mate, I've that. heard of the album, I just didn't have a chance to get in there. You were in there like that. All oh, right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so Hibs. I mean, I, I'm looking down the stats I've got here. It's all pointing in Rangers' way. Um, we all know that that might not happen. Like Stephen says, the the Hibs have got to this point. It's probably since the the, the cup final, isn't it? That the the kind of it started in the way. kind of it started in the, uh, when Stubbs was the manager. It started in the old Championship days, of, no long ago. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It was this kind of rivalry starting, and then. Fuck, they all, I don't know, man. We should really... We need to go on a run now. We need this needs to be the start. See if we go on a run now, the league's yours. Do you know what I mean? We need to get momentum going because the momentum, obviously, as we sell people now, and they're finishing teams off in fucking 45 minutes. We need to keep our best players fit and go on a run starting now. We yeah. were potentially see if we can beat yesterday and then Wednesday. That's seven points nearly. So aye, day, aye. day two games are the most, but they're probably the most important games. Aye, definitely. To get through, so see if you get through them, you're you're good, so you're happy. Aye, definitely, but definitely. But I tell you what, if you're looking for a bet for Wednesday night, get your money on Morelos any time. Five goals and nine appearances against Hibs. Uh, the last thing he's got uh, eight and fifteen in total against them, but five in the last nine against Hibs, so Morelos any time is a decent... You could do that, a wee double Morelos any time in Portis to, to be booked any time. I, I, I tell you what, Rangers, I, that's a good accumulator. Rangers win, Portis to be booked, Morelos to score. Aye. Get your money in that. 6 5 get the bet builder, go. Aye, I, 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 I put 5-2 on in Sunday, my two. Did you? Aye, and Ramsey any time. <sighs> well, none of them worked out for you then, did you? <laughs> 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 um, listen, I'd be upon you right now, Grade, if you care. I said, I had 5 now and uh, it's a car to score any time. But then you come and say, 5 2. Uh, five two. <laughs> nah, you've been fucked there, mate. Well, I'm on a podcast. I'm just telling you my list. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that what you do? <laughs> right, so we'll get our money on Morelos, Portius, and Rangers win. Um, after that, it's Annan. Now, I'm interested to see. So, you, you go away to you go away to Annan. Who, what team goes out against Annan? Pres- presumably, you look I can at get uh, what you call him in? Lowry. Uh, aye, get him in. Get uh, Lowry in. Who? Who? You got Lowry. Bobby. Lowry. Aye, Lowry. Aye. Get him in. You get you f- Sakara aye, needs to get a start. What about, what, about the, what about the Polish boy? Aye. Uh, and Mag- and uh, maybe Sands. McLaughlin. 
Itton. Does Itton get in against Annan? No. no. Not even against Annan? No. no, I wouldn't even put him out against my Sunday team. <laughs> no. He's, he's, he's really, really poor, man. I mean, it's an opportunity, I guess, to, to blood a lot of youngsters, because, I mean... No, he's had his opportunity, Johnny. He had opportunities. No, I mean, John's saying he's getting an opportunity to play the youngsters. He's talking about Gio now. Oh, right. yeah, I, yeah, I mean, because you've got, obviously, the, the Colts playing, or the Rangers B team, whatever they're called now. King. now they play King. You know, they're down playing in, the, in, in that sort of neck of the, you know, Southern League. Aye. So, I mean, you could, they're used to playing at that kind of level. So, is there a chance to bring, like you say, King, Lowry, a couple of, Who's the other boy that's... Uh, Allegra. Who scored against Dallas and stuff and scored. There was a hat-trick or, or whatever. Allegra. 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 Yeah, so... Is there I, don't he's, I don't think he's scored recently, has he, though? No, no. Uh, but is there an opportunity to bring boys like that in, into the side and you know? Get... I don't think he'll go nuts and no. I don't think it'll be wholesale change. I think you might see McLaughlin playing instead of McGregor. You might see the Polish boy getting a shot at right back. Barisic come back in. Right, Barisic maybe. Aye. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Blacklist yeah. new for me. I mean, do, does King does, does King get a shot at centre half then? He might get Goldson a rest, man. He might. Aye, because Goldson's playing every game all the time as well and. He might play the young boy King a lang ba- a lang side ball again. I think you might see Roof getting a shot starting with, with Sakala yeah. and maybe maybe Guy Scott Wright another chance, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, very yeah. much in favour of like a strong first forty five. Nah, Get the job done in the first half and then It's aye. still five subs in it in the cup and all. Yeah. Aye. yeah well there yeah. you go, that's fucking nearly off your team then, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, predictions first of all then for the Hibs game. Four 0 3-0 Rangers. 2-0 to Rangers FC. There we go. And for Annan? 16-0. 16-0. In the first half. Not an H. (laughs) 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 1-0. I'm going for my famous 3-0 shout. Always seem to win 3-0 against these mad teams. 3-0. These mad teams. 3-0. I'm with you. 3-0 Annan. Annan will keep a harder game than Hibs. I don't know, give you a harder game than him. <laughs> they probably will, man. They're just sad. They're just sad. <laughs> well, that's it for this week's Rangers Daft. Thank you very much for listening. Alex, thank you for being our guest pundit this week, sir. Thank you for having me. Oh, your birthday on Wednesday as well, mate. Nah, what are you doing for it? What are you doing what for it? What am I doing? Working. What did you do? I'm a residential support worker. I work with kids in care. Oh, brilliant. Get nice out there, mate. Well, you can uh, tell the kids that you share your birthday with Joe Pesci and Carol King. Oh. I'm sure they'll be, they'll be happy to hear that after they call me Baldy. I listen to a little known album called Tapestry. Exactly. Listen to Tapestry. Listen to the education's me. very good. You go away and listen to that tonight. That's the first thing I'm doing as soon as I get off this. Listen to Tapestry. Well, you, <laughs> yeah, give us your review. We'll have a review. We'll get you back on next week's Rangers Tap. We'll have a review of Tap. This could be a new feature. Music Corner. I like it. Music oh, we should have that in the main pod. Well, we should do that in the moon. Like, right, Stephen's volunteered a new feature for football daft music that. corner with Stephen Purden when he reviews yeah, an album. He'd he get ready to those three of those now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Uh, that is literally what I listen to. That's my favourite part. Thanks, Alex, man. Well, we can say thanks for the journalism. Thanks for. Fuck it, Alex. Oh, you fuck. You've done it twice. Right. We're moving on. Thank you very much for the best, Alex. If you want to be a pa- if you want to be a pundit just like Alex, patreon.com forward slash football daft. We'll be back with Chris on the headline show this Friday. Uh, get voting on your uh, moment of the week. That's up on the Twitter just now. Uh, currently, what a shock. Aaron Ramsey is absolutely wiping the floor. Um, Grado and Stevens Tears is uh, not even contending at the moment, which is a shame. <laughs> was that Dolls, eh? No, no, was that, no was just... nomination yeah, like... this week. So, so there we go. I Aaron Ramsey. So if you want to try and beat Aaron Ramsey, it's a, it's a whitewash this week. Sixty-seven percent. <laughs> I actually thought Celtic beat us. Might have been close. No, nope, twenty percent. And my yeah, really demographic listens to the show, man. Well, we can tell now because my wee uh, Polish goalkeeper has only got four percent of the vote. That's Getting Polish goalkeeper. I know. Disappointing. So we'll be back with Chris. Uh, going to be speaking to um, a guy called Sam Miller uh, on Football Daft Focus. He uh, does a St Johnston podcast, so the Dogger Saints. So we're going to be speaking to him and asking him where the fuck has it gone wrong this season for St Johnston. I want to speak to him about the fucking the absolute 
massacre of the fans against when they came off against Kelty. Yeah, against Kelty, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, yeah, we'll be talking about that on the main podcast. Thank you very much for us, Ranger staff. Subscribe, rate, and review. Uh, do that on Apple, wherever you get your podcast. Until next time, gentlemen. Muchas gracias. The other people. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Stop it, Apple.